Here we are. Right, we're off out today just for a bit of a bimble. Now we're exciting, just go and uh, have a little wander around. Oh, I'll try and do a zip up. No bit of air in. Nothing exciting happening. Just uh, going off to get me tea shortly, so that'd be nice. Pick that up. I just did it fish and chips tonight for Harley's. So I thought I'd give the old girl a bit of a run out. She hasn't been out for a few weeks. So we'll be going out on Sunday. Up to the uh, Bath Motorcycle Club. We're having a meet on Sunday, a bit of a breakfast at the uh, Pit Tuckers, which would be nice. So I took the old standard can off and I put the Acro back on, mainly because this thing is being tuned and geared for that exhaust. It's all been stage one, prepped on the engine, bronze as well, guys put in all that sort of stuff. Dynoed up for it, so why wouldn't you? Yes, it makes a bit of noise, people can hear you, but uh, you know, it's good, isn't it? I go through stages where I think I'll better put the other one back on and then I'll put this one back on and so this is a nice exhaust on here. Pass the MOT with as well, that was quite good. Well we gotta go before we get out of tea. About an hour. Got an hour to pedal around that. See what the traffic is like in there for a bit. Well, not too bad today. Always handy having an ambulance in front of you, isn't it? Just in case, you never know. There we go, do the jacket up, why not? Needs the temperatures rise up on this one right now. Um, I think we're going to go probably up here, straight ahead. Oh, a lot of people. Nice bit of echo in up for there as well, that sounds nice, isn't it? They do like it, they do, they love it. She pops and she bangs. Mm -hmm. I have 
throw my camera in my bag as well, today, just in case I uh, do decide to stop off and have a look at anything. So we're just kind of coming down here, mate. This is uh, 500 coming up on the right hand side. So there's five zeros in there. Do a lot of stupid car meets in there. Nice cafe, bit of dining as well going on. So yeah, get quite a few members days in there. I think this road is, uh, yeah, Melksham. Melksham. Let's have a look, look, see where we can go up here then. It's nice to be on the old girl again. Twenty-five years young. What a weapon. Nice little place now. I don't think I've been up there actually and done it. Yeah, I've done a windscreen in there. Yeah. Thank you, new peoples. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I think that's Holt. Some old lions up there. I can actually park in the old pub. So I don't know. We're about to go up to Melkshire, then head down the quarter, um, and then uh, yeah, maybe back down. We should be there, right, them. Does it look a bit murky in the sky today? It's been threatening rain all day, but we've missed it so far. None was actually forecast, but 
been a right cloudy, shitty day, really. New houses coming there soon, look. I'll have a little bit in here, give it a little squeeze every now and again. Never hurt nobody. Probably got a few flames coming out the back of the exhaust. So we should be coming down to Melksham very soon. We'll get some fuel for as well shortly. Still gonna have filled up for a while. But must admit, since putting the uh, E5 in over the E10, bad in it, E5 is without a doubt 100% better. It is so much more responsive, I'm getting no lag at all. If I want to get the throttle up, off it goes. It's, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's spot on. It's, it's running really sweet at the minute. It was laggy before. I didn't want to start to uh, running on two cylinders. It's just, oh. As soon as I drain the 10 out and put the 5 in, my god, yeah, what a difference. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely keep, keep going with that. I'm not too worried about putting an uh, E5 into the uh, Phasen SX. That seems to handle E10 fine. I don't care what people say. I think any, any um, injection model should be fine on E10. These older, older bikes on carbs, definitely E5. I'll just nip up the inside of you, thank you very much, very kind of you. Off we go. Kieran. Alloys. You get the wife to go in and get her car sorted out. So this little run, I think, if I'm right, should take me back to caution. And then from caution, we just drop back down in the town. Go and get our tea. Mm. 
remember coming this way a few times when he was out there doing windscreens. Good old national windscreens. What a fucking load of twats. Welcome to shore. Well, they must have welcomed me back later on after they heard this thing go through. But don't worry, I'll be very welcome. Dog and cat boarding. It's nice when you come somewhere new and just have a little potter around and you haven't really got a clue where you're going, it's just all different. Our oh, course was that way, bath this way, that's a do. Yeah, so just make it up, go for a ride, clear your head. It's good for the soul. Get out there and see some new things. No point doing the same rides over and over again. You're missing everything. Just get out and have a look round. you notice my head will go all over the shop when I'm out here riding about. I'm not looking forward all the time. I'm aware of what's going on ahead of me, but I'm looking around at everything because there's so much to see. Garden centre down here, is it? Oh, I see. Let's get off of that. Ooh. We're now 40. Logan Garden Centre, look at that. Look. Oh, there's a psych of ice. Came out to ruin everyone's fucking day, look. Atworth. Mate, how much room do you need? You can just fuck off round him. 